everyone welcome back to my youtube channel in this particular video we'll be looking into how we can simply install a two at our system now you might be wondering that what exactly this a two is let me give you a brief introduction about it a two is an all-in-one milwes administration tool you can simply think a two as a gui for milwes whatever collections documents database you create inside your milwes on everything you can have a visual look using this administration tool that is a2 so here i am at the official github page of a2 which is created by zillis tech you can see this is an open source you can have a look at the code on this github website i'll simply drop the link to this github in the description box do check that now talking about the insights of Atto, you, you can simply say that Atto is designed to manage and interact with Milwes. In the previous video, we already have seen how we can simply install the Milwes standalone using Docker. If you haven't watched that yet, please have a look at it. You can get the link in the description box. Now, what all features this Atto provides? You can see that it provides database collection and partition management. It actually manages everything in an organized way. You can also perform the insertion, indexing, and querying kind of operation of vector embeddings. So, so basically, our Milvus database is nothing but a vector database. Here, not only the data, along with that, embeddings also gets stored. So you can have operations like insertion, indexing, and querying over the vector embeddings. Through this, GUI also. You can perform the vector search in here. It also has the feature of user and role management. Through this, we can easily manage the permissions and security levels that we have in Milvus. Also, we can have a look at the system topology. So you can see what all different features this Atu provides. I hope you are excited. Down in here, you can see installation guides are given. There are multiple ways through which you can install Atu. In this particular video, we'll be looking into two ways one by simply downloading and installing the exe file that is present it is nothing but a desktop version of a2 and secondly we can install a2 using docker compose we'll be creating we'll be creating a docker compose yaml file through, through which we'll be accessing the a2 on one port so first we'll be looking into how we can install the desktop version of a2 so you just have to scroll down in here and you can visit this particular desktop version of a2 you can simply click on this particular link you will be redirected to this particular releases page you can simply scroll down in here and you can see the assets over here you can find out the exe file but make a note that do not download the exe file of the latest version i would recommend you to skip the latest two versions and then download the exe file so over here we can simply scroll down and we can simply download the release version 2.4.6 so scroll down in here and you can find out the asset section now over here you can see the exe file of a to set up version 2.4.6 now you can simply click on this particular link and your download will get started once you have downloaded the file, you can simply click on that particular file and execute the exe file and you can see this a2 setup has got started. Once you click on the executable file that you have downloaded, your installation process will start. You don't have to follow any instruction or process. It will automatically get started and you will have this particular window open. So this is the home page you can say of the, uh, of the a2 desktop app. Over here, you can see the version of a2, it is 2.4.6. And then you have to put in the Milvus address on which your Milvus instance is running. In the previous video, I already have shown you how you can simply install Milvus standalone using Docker Compose. Therein, I have shown you how we can create an instance of Milvus server on our local host using Docker Compose. So if you haven't watched that particular video, I would recommend you to first watch that first and then you can visit this particular video again so my milvus instance is running on localhost with this port 19530 which is the default port of milvus and then we have to specify 
the Milverse database name. This is completely optional. Then you simply have to click on connect. Once you click on it, you can see the connection to this Milverse is successful and you can see the actual page of Milverse wherein you can see the version of Milverse that is 2.3.5. You can also have a look at the list of databases that are present in your Milverse connection. Currently, I have one single database that is the default database that is provided by Milverse. I haven't created any of the database yet. Even you can see the number of collections inside that particular default database. Currently, I don't have any collections. That is why you can see a big zero over here. You can see the timestamp when that particular database has got created. And with this simple GUI, you can also create databases. On the left menu, you can also have a look at the database section. You can simply click on it. And here from the drop down, you can simply choose from the list of databases that you have. Currently, as I have only one single default database, that is why I have only one option to select. On the right side, you can see the collection and its information. Currently, I don't have any of them. That is why I cannot see it. You can simply create collection from here. You can simply give name of the collection. Let's say it is a temp collection. You can have a day. You can provide description to it. You can simply put in the schema details of it. That is the primary key. Let's say it is ID. Uh, let's say the primary key value is of the type integer 64 bits. And then the description, it's, it's optional. Then you can simply specify the vector field. Let's say the vector field name is embeddings. It is of the type float vector. You can have the other types as well. You can set the dimensions. Let's say the dimension is 1024. You can also select the consistency of it, whether it has to be strong, session, bounded, or eventually. You can also add the number of fields in here. Let's say if you have some metadata with your embeddings, you can simply put it in here. And let's simply create it. So you can see the collection has got created successfully. You can simply import your CSV or JSON file using this particular option. Make sure your CSV or JSON file contains embeddings field also because one embedding field is compulsory in vector dbs so you can do that from here as well as you can also perform the vector search from this particular option then here you also have the user section and then the system view that is the cpu usage memory usage and so on so overall i can say this is a tool an administration tool for milverse so this was one way through which you can access the Attu. The second way is using the Docker. So for that, you just have to create a Docker Compose.yaml file and inside which you will have to specify the service that is the Attu, the image that you want to pull with the version that you want to install. Make sure the version is not the latest one because it might not be stable. Also specify the port then under the environment section, you will have to specify this Milverse URL variable, which will contain the URL to your Milverse. That is nothing but your machine IP address with the port on which the Milverse is running. So you can get your machine IP address using the ipconfig command if you are using Windows and replace it here. Now that you are ready with this YAML file, you just have to compose up this particular docker compose.yaml file. So you can do that with the help of this command that is docker hyphen compose space up and then space hyphen b and simply hit enter. You will see the atto image getting pulled. Here you can see the atto image has got pulled as well as the container now is in the running state. You can simply check it by this command docker ps and you will be able to see that our a2 instance is under the running state. Over here in this yaml file you can clearly see that we have specified that our a2 instance should run on 8000 port. So we can simply open our any browser and we can simply hit the 8000 port. Over here you can see this is the interface for a2 uh, this shows that our instance is running successfully and here you can see to connect to our milverse server we, we will have to put our milverse 
address now one thing to note over here that whenever you are running the instance on docker instead of defining the local host at the ip location in here you will have to provide the ipv4 address of your system so just paste that colon the port that is 19530 and then you are good to go with it now after putting this milvers address we'll simply click on connect so you can see within a second we are now connected to our milvers server over here we have all the tabs for example the collections the vector search tab and then the database tab with this we also have the system view and the user management tab so i hope it is clear to you all that how we can run the attu instance on docker we have seen two different ways of installing attu onto our local system i hope both these ways are clear to you all i have tried my level best to make it crystal clear still if you guys have any single doubt then you can straight away put it in the comment sections i'll be happy to solve it for more such videos do like share and subscribe to my channel also hit the bell icon and don't forget to follow me on instagram please join me on telegram thanks for watching have a good day ahead